In this video, we're going to take a look at repeating games infinitely. So here's a game, um, and this is what we call our stage game. And our strategies are of this form. So what do we have to do, given we know the entire history of the game, and given anything that can occur? So we have two strategies here. Cooperate at every stage. So this is record a prisoner's dilemma, so just play the first strategy at every stage. Or defect at every stage. Now, if we both cooperated at every stage, we'd write down this infinite um, utility here. And of course, that diverges. So what we do, and what's often done in mathematics to handle infinite sums, is we introduce a discounting factor. So a delta that, as long as delta is less than 1, will ensure that this converges. An interpretation of delta is the probability of the game ending at any stage. So if we were to play this game and repeat it, but at every point, in, uh, at every point flip a, um, a weighted coin with probability delta to see if we carried on playing. With that, we can write down the expected length of uh, this repeated game. And as such, we can write down the mean utility uh, of a game. And that's very important because that's what that, that allows us to compare the strategies to the and the outcomes to the strategies and the outcomes of the stage game. And so here are our utilities for the stage game. And what we've drawn here are the feasible average payoffs. So with our discounting factor delta, our average payoffs will, will live in this polytope here. And now what we have here, this little region here, is everything that is above the stage Nash. This is the stage Nash, which obviously quite a low um, payoff for both players. And this region is called the individually rational payoff. So this is a region of payoffs that gives a better, um, a better utility to both players than the stage Nash. And what's very neat is that there's a theorem that's called the Falk theorem because no one's really sure um, who proved it first that gives us that we can always find discounting factor delta such that there exists a subgame perfect Nash equilibrium that ensures that any individually rational uh, payoff v1, v2 will be obtained. In other words, we can adjust the probabilities of our game ending to um, incentivize behavior that is socially optimal to our two, to our two players.